Chopper 6 HD was over the scene at Philadelphia Mills Mall shortly after the chaos had broke out. Police say about 200 teenagers had arrived on SEPTA buses, planning to run into the mall and cause problems. Police are investigating a string of fights that broke out in malls across the country. Dozens of police officers rushed in to respond to this fight at the Fox Valley Mall outside of Chicago. Confused and panicked shoppers scrambled for building exits. Police say nearly 1,000 teens gathered at the mall before the brawl started around 6.30 last night. The mall closed for over an hour. At a shopping center in Elizabeth, New Jersey, officers armed with long rifles and riot shields searched the food court. Someone apparently shouted gun after a chair slammed. Hundreds ran for the exits. Video shows corridors choked as shoppers tried to get out. At least eight people were injured. In Fort Worth, Texas, officers responded to reports of an active shooter, although it turned out there was no gunman. Anytime that we're hearing a mall shooting, and it's the day after Christmas, you have tons of people, you know, holiday shopping, of course, the response is going to be just like that. We're going to get in here as fast as we can. Police are still unsure about why nearly a dozen brawls happened around the country. In at least one situation, authorities say social media may have played a role. Tensions are high between Israel and the Obama administration after the Obama team refused to veto a United Nations resolution just before Christmas and Hanukkah, attacking Israel over its settlements. Israel says that move has pushed peace even further away. Did you give uh, everything home. you want for Christmas? Actually, not. Joe Maldonado is just like any other eight-year-old. I got two points. But Joe was born a girl. So as a parent, how do you know that you don't just have a girl who is a tomboy and that rather I, it's a transgender issue? It took a couple issue? years. I didn't realize it. He was born Jody, but has been identifying as a boy for over a year. So why did you want to join the Boy Scouts? Because all my favorite friends were there. Joe was a member of Cub Scout Pack 87 in New Jersey, but was recently removed over his legal gender, which is female. What yes. do you think of that reasoning? I don't know. And they no, knew full well he was not born a boy. They all know um, Joe as when he was Jody. In a statement, the Boy Scouts of America defended its actions, saying in part, no youth may be removed from any of our programs on the basis of his or her sexual orientation, but added gender identity isn't related to sexual orientation. In recent years, the Boy Scouts have reversed bans on gay scouts and scout leaders, but this incident could spark a new debate. This one in particular really hit home. Joe's mom, Christy, says the messages of support she's received from around the world have been overwhelming. I'm a scout leader here in the UK and would love him to be a member of our troop. How does it feel to receive that kind of support? from another scout group in another country. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. A court in Jakarta, Indonesia, ruled that the trial of a Christian governor charged with blasphemy against Islam will go forward. Governor Basuki Purnama was charged with blasphemy after saying that some Muslim leaders were misusing the Quran by teaching that a Muslim cannot be ruled by a Christian. His appeal was denied. The trial resumes next week. Anis Amri, the jihadist that drove a truck into scores of people in Berlin, leaving 12 dead and injuring dozens, finally faced justice in Milan, Italy as a rookie police officer, took Amri down in a hail of bullets after Amri pulled a gun while being asked for identification. Amri had been one of the many refugees leaving Tunisia during the Arab Spring in 2011 for European shores. Tunisia, now seen as a jihadist hotbed, sending more fighters to Syria than any other country. Amri had been allowed to remain in Europe regardless of the fact that he had spent four years in prison after being held responsible for burning down a migrant reception center on the Italian island of Lampedusa. Back in Germany, Angela Merkel continued to ignore the blood on her hands as calls for her to step down echoed throughout Berlin's Washington Square, numbering as high as 10,000 protesters. Because right now, we still don't know exactly what happened. We have to presume this is a terrorist attack. 
three suspected jihadists said to be linked to Anis Amri have been arrested in Tunisia, the home country of the supposed Berlin truck attacker. Described as members of a terrorist cell by Tunisia's interior ministry, the trio includes a nephew of Amri who was shot dead by Italian police in Milan on Friday. It will be very hard to deal with this, to understand this, if we find out that this was committed by someone who took refuge in Germany. And now the world enters the Christmas season on high alert as ISIS releases a list of U.S. churches to attack. Record highs surge across the U.S. border, numbering on the average of 1,574 per day and 820,000 illegal immigrants with felonies and serious misdemeanors walk the streets of the United States. Urged on by the reckless support of President Obama and the Mexican ambassador, we are facing a crisis of epic proportions. More than 65 million people have been driven from their homes, which is more than any time since the Second World War. Among them are more than 21 million refugees who have fled their countries. Everything and everyone they've ever known, playing with a suitcase or the clothes on their back, is a crisis of our shared security. Not because refugees are a threat. Refugees, most of whom are women and children, are often fleeing war and terrorism. They are victims. They're families who want to be safe and to work, be good citizens and contribute to their country. If we were to turn refugees away simply because of their background or religion, or for example, because they are Muslim, then we would be reinforcing terrorist propaganda that, that nations like my own are somehow opposed to Islam. It is an ugly lie that must be rejected in all of our countries by upholding the values of pluralism and diversity. So I'm wondering how this might affect relations with us. It's an attack on humanity. That's what it is. It's an attack on humanity. And it's got to be stopped. If you take a trip along the San Diego-Mexico border, on the surface, you won't notice anything different. But there is. It's the changing face of immigration. Well, right now we're seeing a large influx of Syrian refugees seeking asylum. Crime will surge, disease will spread, and more terror attacks are inevitable. Fortunately, Obama's days as president are coming to a close. The lifting of Obama's fog of apocalyptic immigration will be finally recognized for what it is. And anyone with any sense in their head will come to the conclusion that this is why we have immigration laws that need to be enforced.